I thought that it was a matter of uh, real concern that planted stories intended to serve a national purpose abroad um, came home and were circulated here and believed here because uh, this would mean that the CIA could manipulate the news in the United States by channeling it through some foreign country. Now we're looking at that very carefully. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to a major circulation American journal? We do have people who submit pieces to other two American journals. Do you have any people paid by the CIA who are working for television networks? This, I think, gets into the kind of uh, getting into the details, Mr. Chairman, that I'd like to get into in executive session. Uh, at CBS, uh, we uh, had been contacted by the CIA. As a matter of fact, by the time I became the head of the whole news and public affairs operation in 1954, the ships had been established, and I was told about them and asked if I'd carry on with them. We have quite a lot of detailed information, uh, and we will evaluate it, and we will include any um, evidence of wrongdoing or any evidence of impropriety in our final report and make recommendations. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to the national news services, AP and UPI? Well, again, I think we're getting into the kind of detail, Mr. Chairman, that I'd prefer to handle in executive session. Senator, do you think that you named the news organizations in your final report? Uh, that, that remains to be decided. I think it was entirely in order for our correspondents at that time uh, to make use of the uh, CIA agent ch uh, chiefs uh, of station and other members of the executive staff of CIA as sources of information which were useful in their assessments of world conditions. Would you say that continues today? Well, I, yeah, I would think probably for a reporter it would continue today, but because of all of the revelations of the period of the 1970s, uh, it seems to me that a reporter's got to be much more circumspect in doing it now, or he runs the risk of uh, at least being looked at with considerable disfavor by the public. I think you've got to be much more careful about it. The media is a powerful force to influence hearts and minds. As such, the potential for bias is enormous. And in Germany, a force from abroad has been doing much more than just putting a spin on the news. And that's according to one of the latest best-selling books in the country. Here's Artie's Peter Oliver on the investigation. Well, the latest sensation on the German bestsellers list is filled with spies, backhanders and political intrigue. But it's no novel. In the book Bought Journalism, Udo Ulfkorte recounts the 17 years he spent working for a major German newspaper. In that time, he claims that he was paid by US intelligence services to put a different spin or slant on stories. Also, going as far as to claim that some media outlets were no more than just an extension of the of a NATO uh, propaganda service. Now, it all may seem very unnerving and very shocking to most people, but those who've worked in journalism here in Germany Germany say they don't find it surprising. The shocking element of the book will be when people will read it who don't know anything about how media um, is done in Germany as well as in Europe, in the West in general, and uh, people who still believe that we have something like a free and independent media. I think for those people it will be a real uh, shocking experience because it contradicts everything they might believe in. Well, currently at number seven on the bestsellers list here in Germany, more and more people are turning to the work by Udo Ulfkorte to try and find out exactly what's going on with their journalism here in Germany.
RT's Peter Oliver. Now, we spoke to the author of Bought Journalists to find out what made him come clean about the revelations, and uh, here's what he had to say. I've been a journalist for about 25 years, and I was educated to lie, to betray, and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. I have been a non-official cover. It means you, you too work for an intelligence agency. You help them if they want you to help them, but they will never, never, when they find out that you are not only a journalist, but a spy too, um, they will never say, oh, this was one of our guys. They will not know you. That means non-official cover. So uh, I have helped them in several situations, and uh, I feel ashamed for that too. I've been a journalist for about 25 years and I was educated to lie, to betray and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. I have been a non-official cover. It means you, you too work for an intelligence agency. You help them if they want you to help them, but they will never, never, when they find out that you are not only a journalist but a spy too, um, they will never say, oh, this was one of our guys. They will not know you. That means non-official cover.